Let's take you out to the coastline and bring you to beautiful Cayucas today. Just a few folks out there, not too bad. Sky's looking pretty good, but again, the trade-off is higher winds at the coast today. Be on KSBY, your photos keep coming in. Thank you, everybody. Cindy's view of the sunset from yesterday and Consuelo as well. Tonight should be pretty good as well. I can't wait to see your pictures as they come in. Today's daytime highs, lower 70s in Santa Maria and San Luis Obispo. Very little change, but the interior did warm up. Pass Robles up a couple of degrees into the lower 80s. Again, just a few degrees warmer than average. Santa Barbara and Goleta, mid 80s, but that's thanks to quite a bit of this northerly flow we've been seeing. We do have another advisory for wind for the south coast tonight. 69 Pismo, 77 Santa Inez. Here's the hourly forecast for Morro Bay tomorrow. Like today, any early cloud cover gets wiped out by those sizable winds in the afternoon, up to 20 and 25 miles per hour. Pismo Beach, same story, starting in the 50s, peaking around the lower 70s. But again, those winds to 25 will definitely have an impact late in the day. Santa Barbara, northwesterly winds become more west-northwesterly in the afternoon. The daytime highs once again into the 80s. There you can see the current temperature, 80 in Paso Robles, but just 68 down the road in Atascadero, 79 for us in Santa Barbara, 80 Goleta, 66 San Luis, 67 Santa Maria. And again, the winds, 15 to 25 sustained with higher gusts, and that's why we have the wind advisory through 10 a.m. for the higher elevations in Santa Barbara County, passes, canyons, and the adjacent south coast where some wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour are possible. And that's going to keep very little cloud cover from impacting the south coast. In Northern California, continues to be showery, but again, far Northern California and out into the Pacific Northwest. High pressure is building in for the weekend, but once we get into Sunday and Monday, we actually have a chance of showers returning. Look at the winds and the modeling. You can see how they back off tonight, turn a little bit offshore, but still fairly gusty. Now, as we get into Saturday morning, you can see a little bit of northwesterly flow along the coastline, but still keeping clouds away until late in the day. But on Sunday, it's more marine cloud cover than increasing clouds during the day with a chance of scattered showers late. But I actually think the better chance of rain is going to be Sunday night into Monday and possibly extending into Tuesday. Big trough of low pressure hits the west. Cold front moves through our area, then some unstable air left behind before the rest of the week we start warming up again. Could see up to a quarter inch of rain. Best chance for that would be up along the north coast. I think elsewhere, a lot of folks will be shy of a tenth of an inch of rain. But again, that isn't until Monday and Tuesday of next week. Weekend looks pretty good. Some increasing clouds. Temperatures pretty mild. 60s and 70s close to the beaches. As you get into the valleys, you're going to find some lower 80s. And a little bit of a warming trend actually continues here as we go into Saturday. Sunday, pretty even, but again, increase in cloud cover. Showers possible on Monday. I didn't put the rain in for Tuesday, not yet. Uh, we'll have to see whether or not the system looks to linger or not. We'll revise the forecast if necessary. Back to you.